Welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk to you about this Huggies diaper deal at Rite Aid. Now I know a lot of you already know about this deal, um, but I want to tell you some things that you might not know about this deal. How you can get some more coupons, how you can continue to do this deal. Also, I want to talk about selling these diapers. Selling these diapers, right? Because these make a lot of opportunity for us to not only get the money maker at Rite Aid, but we can also make some good money selling these diapers. I want to stress that to you, okay? So I told you guys I would make a video if I went to Rite Aid and I was able to purchase um, these diapers. Now the Rite Aid that I went to had, luckily, several packs of size five and six, which happened to be the ones I sell the best, but we're gonna talk about selling here in a minute. So I was mostly one size five and six and I was able to get those sizes they also have several other sizes of Huggies diapers that may be a little harder for me to sell but that's okay we'll talk about that in a little bit um, but I did get six of these yesterday I'm gonna go back today and get uh, six more and then on Friday I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use another account and I'm gonna do this deal again um, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that how you can do that if you are interested in doing this right um, it may take you a little bit of work these coupons are currently available to print on coupons.com plus they are available to print on pickupthevalues.com i really did have some trouble yesterday with this deal and i want to tell you about the trouble that i had so you guys can prepare um, i don't know if anybody else has had the same trouble that i did i haven't heard anybody say that they did and i don't know why it happened to me uh, we tried it, the transaction several different ways and it still kept happening so we're going to talk about that okay so if you haven't done this deal what you need to do is print as many huggies coupons as possible and run to do this deal. It does end on Saturday, so Saturday will be the last deal, the last day to do this deal. So it ends up being like a $20 money maker for 12 packs of diapers. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I paid out of pocket, including tax. So for six packs, um, I paid $22 total. It was actually 21 and some change. Uh, and I ended with $20 in bonus cash at Rite Aid. And I also ended with a $10 Catalina um, that I can use at Rite Aid when I go back today, right? So you want to get two packs of Huggies diapers per transaction. And then what you're doing initially in the first transaction is you'll buy two packs of Huggies diapers. Um, they're $8.50 each. You'll use two $2 off coupons. There are load to card coupons on Rite.com as well. And there's a load to card coupon for the regular Huggies and then a load to card for the pull-ups. So in the first transaction, if I were you, what I would do is use the load to card coupons, get one regular Huggies diapers and one pull-ups. Oh wow, there's all the comments. I wonder why it takes them so long to start. Anyway, um, in the first transaction, you'll get one regular, one pull-ups. Go to the register. You have no bonus cash or anything like that to start with, right? So uh, you'll buy those two and you pay out of pocket the first transaction like 14, I think I paid $14, including tax. I think it was $14.20 to be exact. And then in the next transaction, I just bought two more packs of Huggies diapers. First, you wanna hand over that $10 Catalina. Um, have them scan the diapers first, of course. Hand over the $10 Catalina. Hand over both of your coupons. After that, use your bonus cash if you have any, and then they'll uh, put it in your Rite Aid card or scan your Rite Aid card, okay? And then um, it was $4.31 or $4.21 per transaction after that for me. And I just kept doing that. But my $10 Catalina did not scan. So the second transact or the third, technically, the third transaction that I did, we switched it up and did it in a different order to see if it would scan that time, and it did not scan. So I was really happy um, that I did those three transactions there at that one store because they knew they just gave me the Catalina. They knew that it was good. Um, so Sandra said she paid 402 instead of 421 mine was 421 
after two coupons. But here's the thing, guys. I've seen so many of you or so many people who even have messaged me and said that they only got six packs because they didn't have enough coupons to keep going. And there's no excuse for that because you can get more coupons. Uh, you just have to take the time to do it. And what you would do is print, of course, as many as you can from coupons.com, which is probably, if you only have one device, going to be two coupons, right? And then you can clip the load to cart coupons on riteaid.com for a Huggies and then a pull-ups. And then you can go to pickupthevalues.com, pickupthevalues.com, and you can print $2 off for overnights, $2 off for regular Huggies, <coughs> excuse me, and then a $2 off for Huggies Little Movers, right? And you can print two of each of those coupons, so that's six more Huggies coupons that you can get on pickupthevalues.com. They also have a $1.50 off coupon, but I wouldn't use a $1.50 off. Instead, if you want to keep going and you want to get to 12, or hell, even if you wanted to get 24 packs of diapers, all you have to do, okay, listen, this is important. All you have to do is, if you have another email address, create another account for Pick Up The Values. Sign out of the account that you printed the coupons of, you know, and sign back in your new account, and you can print more coupons endlessly. I personally, because of that, have like six Pick Up the Values accounts because I have 10 different email addresses, and when there's coupons that I want to print a lot of, I just sign out of that account and into a different account, and I can continue to print Huggies coupons. Additionally, you can only get 12 per Rite Aid account. So, after you've gotten your 12 on your one account, you can create another Rite Aid account. It's very easy, actually, right? So, I'm just telling you that because I want to talk about selling Huggies diapers. And I want to tell you guys, like, my experience of selling these bad boys and what you can do if you have these. I'm going to read this comment. Let's read a comment or two real quick. Krista, I am so frustrated. I have done several surveys and the dates are wrong on the survey. Now I can't do any more for 14 days. Someone needs to get a hold of Dollar General Corporate Office and do something. Okay, so guys, the Dollar General surveys are printing out to 2019 expiration dates. Even have a time on them. Like they say like 3.07 p.m. Which is really strange, right? So everybody started messaging me this last night, um, and I think that you'll still be able to use it. I don't, I don't think you're going to have a problem using it at the store, but what I think is that the year is wrong. Like somebody done something in the computer and it's just wrong. I'll call them if you want me to, and I'll let you know what they say. Maybe I'll make a video about it if they say something interesting. Um, but sometimes, usually they just say the district manager is going to call you. They never called me from the other day when I called about the L'Oreal Instant Savings either, by the way. So maybe I should call them back. I don't have Rite Aid. <coughs> um, S Sonia says coupons for Huggies are also in Smart Source too. So I guess the smart source inserts that we got on 1-7. I don't order newspaper coupons, and it makes it really difficult for me um, to do a deal like this, especially because a lot of the times I have the trouble that I can't get, you know, 28, 28 Huggies coupons. But when I realized, when somebody messaged me in the first time and said that they could only get six coupons, it hit me that they were also on pickupthevalues.com. So all you have to do, guys, is just log out of that account and log back in or create a new account and you can continue to print coupons on pickupthevalues.com. If you do have them as a newspaper coupon too, that'd be awesome, right? I would get as many of these as I can. Guys, it's essentially a $10 moneymaker um, at Rite Aid every six packs, roughly, give or take, depending on your taxes. No one ever considers their taxes, but I do because 
I mean, nonetheless, it's money out of pocket. And if I paid four twenty one, and there's two people here in the live stream saying that they only paid four oh two, twenty cents doesn't seem like a big deal. But um, if you do this, if you do this transaction twenty times, it starts to kind of be a big deal, right? <clears throat> Get the newspaper from the dollar store like I do. My store, do, my dollar stores, Dollar Tree or Dollar General does not sell newspapers. I wish they did. Um, I have ways to get. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't just not use newspaper coupons because, well, first of all, they kind of stink in my area. Secondly, I feel like I'm wasting money when I use um, newspaper coupons, just because. Those of you who do use newspaper coupons, how many of them do you end up throwing away, right? How many times can you get the bonus cash? You can only get 12 packs of diapers per Rite Aid card, which means that you would only get a total of $40 in bonus cash and you're tapped out, like you're at the maximum. So you can do this deal technically twice and each time is six diapers, right? So after you buy six packs of diapers, you're going to get back $20 in bonus cash. Bonus cash is available. I found out from Pam's Pretty Pennies. Pam's Pretty Pennies. She has a YouTube channel. You guys should check out her channel if you haven't already. I love Pam and Saving with Vanessa. Um, but anyway, um, Pam told me that the bonus cash was available at 8 a.m. the next day, and she was right. It was there this morning. So... I want to talk about selling these really quick, you guys. Are you not? Okay. So, Amy raises such a good point, and we should all hear this, right? Amy says, are you not nervous about having such a large value of bonus cash? I'm, no, I'm nervous knowing that I have to spend $20 in a single transaction to be able to use it, and I have... And I have to be able to do that two times now. Um, I asked, when I was at Rite Aid yesterday, I, I asked them if they thought that our, like, our stores would be closed because it's a really busy Rite Aid and they're not real coupon friendly. My Catalina wouldn't go in. I mean, I don't want to, I don't mean that they're not coupon friendly because they are friendly. They just don't get a lot of couponers at that store. It's a hidden Rite Aid. Um, <clears throat> but I am a little nervous, but from what I know and what I've read, it seems that Rite Aid is not going to go out of business for at least six months, right? Can I spend, I mean, there's probably, I, I, I am a little nervous and I think that it, ma it makes me nervous that I want to do this deal on another card, right? Because do I really want to have $40 on two cards just waiting in money at Rite Aid? Like I felt better about plenty points because at least I could use that for gas. Bonus cash, you cannot use for gas. So it does make me a little nervous, yes, but... I feel like I, I can spend that. I mean, I can do enough coupon deals in six months to be able to use my bonus cash. For sure. I think so. So, yes and no, Amy. But that's a good point. You should all think about that. Amy makes a very good point. Last time I said something about the um, gift card, Amy reminded me of Friday closing. And I really hadn't thought about it until she did. And I was so glad that she did because I kind of didn't think about it. And anyway. <sighs> Can I use $20 bonus cash to purchase more, diaper, uh, more diapers and still earn another $20 in bonus cash? So... Amy, Amy says that you have to spend 20, but I was under the impression that I could use it when I go back. I was really just going to test it out for you guys um, and let you know how that goes. I wanted to let you guys know that my Catalina did not scan and I did have trouble. They had to manually type it in. But as far as I know, you can roll the bonus cash and get two more packs and use the bonus cash. Like as far as I've seen. So, I can't tell you that 100% because I haven't done my transactions yet. I can let you know how my transactions go when I go to Rite Aid later. Um, but as far as I know, as far as I've seen from other people say, then the answer is yes. But I can't say that for sure. K 
can you buy two packs at a time and get the Catalina or it has to be six? No, you have to buy two packs at a time. Um, it's a glitch and you're much better off if you buy two packs at a time. So before these just come out to like 67 cents a pack, but now instead of buying four in a transaction and getting the Catalina, we're able to only buy two and get the Catalina. So um, yeah, don't buy six in a transaction, only buy two. And look guys, even if I go to Rite Aid and I'm unable to roll my bonus cash into more, first of all, if I'm not able to, I'm not going to continue to do more transactions, okay, personally, because I don't have a kid in diapers, right? That would be kind of silly. But still, this is a good deal. Even if I would continue to do the transactions and not be able to use my bonus cash, it's a good deal. Uh, even if I only get six packs, that's a hell of a deal, guys. And these babies will sell. Like, I don't have a kid in diapers, but number one, you can donate these. And people love, like, it is so hard when you're a single mom with twin two-year-olds and you got to buy diapers. You know what I mean? So people really appreciate when you donate these. So after you've taken care of your own family and you're like, okay with in your life, then perhaps consider donating. If you're not in a position to donate, don't feel bad. If you cannot donate, you can sell these bad boys all day long and twice on Sunday. Yesterday, before I even made it home, I had all these diapers that I bought yesterday. Six packs of diapers sold for $6 a bag. So this made me quite a bit of money, right? So even with my bonus cash situation, um, I still made money, right? Even if I didn't get the bonus cash. I made $36 um, just in selling these diapers. So I'm going to sell all of the diapers that I got for $36. Yesterday, including tax, I only spent $21 or so-ish. It was, I think it was 21 something. And um, also... I got a $10 Catalina that I can use at Rite Aid right now. So it really turned out to be a good deal. And what I used to do, guys, when especially when I um, sold my stockpile for a living, like that's how I made a living every week. And that was the only way I made a living is if I sold my stockpile. I made about $400 to $600 a week just couponing and selling my stuff which isn't a ton of money like I was used to making more money than that so uh, sometimes on the 400 side it was a little tough honestly but that's still decent money right that's more than minimum wage but my point of this is what I would do and I wanted to tell you guys this especially for those of you who don't have a lot of money and if you don't have kids I would always make sure I had Huggies in my stockpile and I would not sell them until times got tough and the reason that is, is because everybody with kids has to have diapers and these sell quicker than anything I've ever sold couponing. Even gain, um, if I was selling bottles of laundry detergent or diapers, the Huggies would sell first. Now, sometimes if you get the off brands, those are a little bit harder, but I would leave the Huggies in my stockpile until I had a bad selling week and I needed more money because these diapers sell so quickly. And even if you go look on eBay and you look at the reoccurring sellers, like people will buy these and they will pay you to ship them to their house every month. Um, so if you can get a lot of these, that might be a good, I seen somebody on eBay paid like $150. Go look on eBay. Somebody paid like that much to have Huggies diapers mailed to them every month. And the person who made that listing made a very good profit off that person, right? Because you still got to pay to ship these, but they still made one crazy profit. So anyway, um, these are really easy to sell. I want to stress that to you guys. If you are not uh, always good on your money situation, this is a very good idea of something to have in your stockpile to sell. If you want to, if you're not good at saving money, keep these in your stockpile. When you need couponing money, just sell these. You can sell them on eBay. I prefer uh, to sell on Facebook. Like in your local area, they sh there are, in every local area, there are Facebook sell groups. 
I eventually created my own cell group because that's how I made a living. Um, but once you find people that need to buy diapers, right? I just met, now I don't even post them for sale. I just messaged a lady. I messaged one lady after I got them at Rite Aid. When I got in the car, I messaged her. I have Huggies diapers size five and six, and I have six packs, and she said, I'll take them all. So, because people have to buy diapers. They have to. Anyway. When are you doing the money-making videos? Well, um, I'm working on them now. What I had intended on doing is starting another channel and starting the videos, uh, pre-recording the videos so I didn't get behind with my couponing videos because my couponing uh, videos come first, you know, because you guys come first, I guess. Um, but I had them pre-recorded and I'm uploading them and then I'm going to release them once a week. I should have them up yet with you what happened yesterday i think it fits that i'm going to do the youtube videos first i have two youtube videos that i want to do how to make money on youtube how to start a youtube channel i want to do those two videos first and then i will um do the rest probably once or twice a week but very soon i'm i will at least have those up uh within a week but I've already been uploading them. Some of one of them I uploaded and I was going to release yesterday, but for some reason the lighting was really weird and it literally looks like I have makeup caked on my face and <laughs> it's kind of funny. So I can't release that video because it's just that bad. It's funny though. But anyway, so um yeah, here within a couple of days. If you have uh, any specific idea like or a video that you would like me to do for you just let me know too in the comments because that's helpful also i'm gonna sell some couponing shirts when i get my youtube paycheck uh that will be i think the 22nd of the month i'm gonna buy uh one of my shirts and um wear it and show you guys so if you have any ideas or something that you would like a couponing shirt to say let me know that too and i'll try to make them like little coupon sayings or whatever or not coupon sayings but like somebody yesterday posted in the facebook group a shirt that said uh pick another line i have a coupon for every item that i have and all kinds of people were commenting on that shirt and it's funny because i've been planning on selling shirts for like a month now but not like i'm not gonna have them say like krista coupons right because nobody wants to buy a shirt like that come on My Facebook group, unfortunately, is frozen at the moment as far as um, people that we're letting in the group. It's called Coupon Deals, and you can totally request to join. I did also create a Facebook page today, actually, uh, that's called Krista Coupon, so you can follow me there, too, if you'd like. There was something I signed up for, and I have to have a 1,000 followers on Facebook in order for them to consider me on uh, the thing I signed up for. So I guess I have to try to get a thousand people to follow me on Facebook. I was having people like follow my personal Facebook, uh, but I need an official page, I guess, for that thing I signed up for. So anyway, follow me on Facebook at Krista Coupons, please. I have no followers at this. I literally created the page right before this video. What about a video showing us What about a video showing us how to utilize each aspect on the Dollar General app? How to use the app? Um I personally don't use the Dollar General app, but it's the same as the website and yes, I've been working on a video like that. In fact, the other day I was doing that video and I got distracted and I didn't go back to it. But what I found is a lot of you guys don't know that you have an online receipt. You don't have you don't know how to uh, check and see if the coupons are on your account. So I think that's a good idea. What I'm trying to do is create a playlist of um, a playlist of like beginner type videos. That way, when you go to my YouTube channel, you can watch the beginner's guide to penny shopping you can watch the how to you know use the dollar general app how the order to use your coupons at dollar general all those were really good informative dollar general videos and i'm going to put a playlist on my youtube channel so you like a start here if you want to start couponing at dollar general start here type if you want
want me to be 100% honest with you, I would rather be honest with you. Um, there, it's not in my favor to post all of these videos in January. And that's just the God's honest truth. I can't tell a lie. I don't want to tell a lie. I just think that we should all be honest and be friends here. There are reasons that YouTube makes January very hard for people on YouTube. So um, I'm not, obviously I don't want that to stop me from me helping you guys. But it's, it's honestly um, a lot better if I just wait until February, which is so, it makes me angry, honestly. But I'm still going to upload my videos and the videos that I had planned. Also today we're going to review the Shopkick app on my channel. I'll have that video up today too. If you're not using the Shopkick app, you have to watch that video. Your Facebook, you got this. I gotta get a new picture. I'm not good at taking selfies. You know? It is just coupon deals. Yeah, thanks, Renee. Renee, uh, who is in the chat, is actually a, an admin in the Facebook group, and she helps a lot. Just joined, I think I am number seven, on the Facebook page. Yay! I wish I could come do your PR photos. Pam. That's a good idea. I'm not good at it. Krista Coupons is on YouTube or Facebook, the page you just mentioned. Both, actually. But I just created the Facebook page. You will get a 1,000 followers very fast. You're great. That's so nice. Thank you. Is it coupon deals and codes? So a lot of the times, and something that I've learned uh, since I named the Facebook group Coupon Deals, right? I was trying to just make it very generic so I could post whatever I wanted. I mean, um, I, I initially made it Coupon Deals. Actually, it used to be couponing with food stamps, but I changed it to Coupon Deals so it could be generic and I could kind of post whatever I wanted. But the group, the Facebook group, has grown a lot, and there are a lot of different posts. I don't even have to post most of the time because before I go to post something, it's already posted by the members in the group, which I really love. I'm so proud of them. Anyway, they do such a good job. I'll be liking it right after your video. Join, join, join. I like the Facebook page, too. Thank you, guys. Krista, I've not used the Shopkick app. Looking forward to learning. Especially if you don't have a lot of money all the time. The Shopkick app is wonderful. It saved my butt yesterday, too. Because I got stuck out. And I didn't have any cash. And I literally forgot to put gas in my car. And I would have ran out of gas. <laughs> and it saved me. That was funny. You hear my dog barking out there? Krista, if I'm buying 12 Lysol... Oh, we got to talk about the Lysol. Krista, if I'm buying 12 Lysol, 3 off 15, better versus 6 Lysol, someone brought that up in your live video yesterday. If I'm buying 12 Lysol with the 3 off 15, am I better off? Let me do the math really quick. So if you buy 12, that would be $20. You would save $4 instantly at the register, which would bring you down to $16, right? Depending on how many, uh, okay, so then you would use your three off 15. That's $13 minus coupons. Um, so if you had the 50 cent off coupons, you would pay $7 for 12. If you have the 50 cent off coupons. So I, I do, I think if you want to buy that many Lysol, personally, I would just buy the 12. Yeah. I, I'm going to say yeah. Because if you buy um, six, it still comes out to like four or five dollars. Whereas if you get 12, it comes out to seven dollars. So yes, I would say 12 is a better deal. The problem that you're going to have doing that is unless you have the hang tags, you're going to have a hard time using that many like coupons in a transaction, potentially. But, but, oh, no, no, no. Did I block someone? Krista, is there anywhere to print whole blend coupons? Not that I've seen, but let's check on Lozo. 
I always check Lozo, Renee. Um, someone posted in the group that the dollar off Lysol laundry sanitizer coupon um, that's on, I think it's on coupons.com, is working on the Lysol laundry sanitizer pink bottle. Or did I say that backwards? Hold on. I can't write and talk at the same time. The dollar, let me just pull up the post and show you, actually. Shut up! My stupid little dog outside barking. Bless her little stupid heart. <laughs> I have the hang tags. Then buy 12. Definitely, Rena. Okay, so the pink bottle of Lysol is working. Let's see which one she used. She used the, uh, um, well, duh, it was a paper coupon. Gosh. She used the dollar off Lysol laundry sanitizer coupons. So it's just like the ones that we have in the hang tags, except it's for Lysol laundry sanitizer. Honestly, I don't know if she got them in the paper, though, or a printable coupon. I meant to look, and I forgot, but hold on, and I'll check that for you real quick. I'll ask her. It might just actually say it on her post. Uh, <clears throat> gosh, that dog out there. Kroger is having the same deal on diapers. However, we don't get bonus cash in here, but we do get the $10 Catalina. What do you think of this deal? So if you don't have a Rite Aid and you only have a Kroger, I would definitely do that. Yes, I think that's still a good deal because it's still, what, $10 for six packs is what it would come out to be or free. I don't know. No, it would be $10, about $10. Yeah, that's a good deal for six packs of diapers yeah <laughs> hold on I'm gonna ask her did she use the printable or newspaper coupon Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. Ha hey, saving with Vanessa. Write it in Kroger. It's double dip at Kroger. What do you mean it's double dip at Kroger? Hey, I'm done. I've done this deal about 10 minutes. About to go back to write it. Sharita lives in my area. Sharita, you better save me some diapers, girl. Um, all oh, the kids must be out of school again today. Doing it over here, gearing up for a shopping day. All right, guys, so I just did really want to talk to you guys about selling these in your area. These sell so well. Please remember that. I'm going to wait on um, just a second to see if she answers me because I'm curious to know if she used the newspaper or printable coupon. But usually when something glitches with the newspaper coupon, it's the same with the printable. Is there even a printable? Am I losing my mind? I've seen a dollar off Lysol laundry sanitizer somewhere, I thought. Maybe there's not a printable. Maybe it is obviously the newspaper coupon. I forgot to look for Renee for the Garnier. Okay, at Kroger, it's get $10, uh, get a $10 Catalina when you spend $30 on Huggies and get a $10 Cat when I spend $40 in the Baby Owl. Oh. Do you guys hear that? So... It's she they're double dipping when you spend 10 when you spend 30 you get a $10 Catalina 
on diapers, on Huggies, and then when you spend $40, you get a $10 Catalina. So if you went in and bought $40 worth of diapers, you would get um, $20 total to $10 Catalinas, right? What? Don't have Kroger here. If you don't have Kroger, maybe you'll have a Rite Aid. Do you know if all Kroger run the same Catalina promotions or is it just in certain areas? Actually, I do think that some of them are only in certain areas, but I think generally the like Kimberly Clark uh, Huggies, right? Catalinas are everywhere, but it would be almost impossible for you to find that out for sure if it's in your area without going and trying it. I would risk trying it. And if it doesn't work, you can just return the diapers. That's what I would do. But I do think sometimes Catal Catalinas can, can be like regional. I might be wrong on that. But I, I do think, because I have seen sometimes where people will get Catalinas and then in some places they don't. But, I, you know, I don't. Um, Living Rich with Coupons who also has a YouTube channel, they go in depth on their, um, on the Catalinas, um, just what Catalina offers there are, and just a lot of information about Catalinas in general. So if you wanted to learn more about that, I would, a I would ask Google and type in, um, living rich with coupons. The cro closest Kroger to me is about six hours away. Wow. Is the L'Oreal deal still going on? The L'Oreal deal does not end until January 20th. However, you should not buy the um, styler, so don't buy any hairspray or mousse or anything like that. And uh, Sharita, if you have those $4 off two newspaper coupons, it's kicking the instant savings out of the system. So you're actually better off just using that $3 off to digital coupon at this point, unless the cashier is willing to put it in manually or something. So be careful if you have that $4 off to L'Oreal coupon. <clears throat> Are Kroger deals in general worth it? I have one here, but it's pretty far for me. Well, we have three Kroger's here. And honestly, I see some people, uh, my friend Sharita that is on the still blocked. My friend Sharita that is um, in the chat here, she, I think Kroger would be like her favorite store. She does really well there. I do okay. I, I personally find the other stores a little better. But sometimes they do have good deals. It's hit and miss for me at Kroger. Sometimes I do really great. But, you know, something I don't like at Kroger, I always feel like um, I always feel like I spend more than I should. And I don't mean that I buy too many items there. I mean, like, my subtotal should be $5, and I'll go to checkout, and instead it's $10. And they always charge me extra tax at Kroger, I've noticed, too. Like, um, if I spent... Like, your tax is calculated based on your state, what your state laws are as far as taxing coupons, and if they charge you um, before coupons, like if your subtotal before coupons is $32, then some states tax on that, some states tax after coupons, but I can buy the same amount of stuff at Dollar General and have way less tax than if I do at Kroger. Does that make sense? So anyway, I just feel like overall my out-of-pocket seems higher when I go to Kroger, personally. But sometimes I get free stuff there. Kroger mails me coupons, um, and a lot of them. I've been getting Kroger coupons literally every single week. And Patricia put in the comments, um, for those who don't know, or... Sorry, for those who don't have a Kroger, check out these store affiliates. Ralph's Food for Less, Smith's, Fries, and Harris. And generally, I do know that the Kroger affiliates usually have about the same sale as the Kroger store. So if you do have those stores that she mentioned, um, when you hear really good deals at Kroger, check out that store, those stores. It's because they sell alcohol. Oh, Jenny, is that why my taxes are higher? That makes sense. I never thought of that, I guess. Um, 
Patricia, I only have Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Herb in my area. If I drive, oh wow, Vanessa. Vanessa, do you know a lot about shopping at Family Dollar? If your Catalina does not print out, you can contact them with a picture of your receipt and they will mail you a check. Yes, it's actually not Kroger's responsibility if the Catalina does not print. Um, if there is an advertised Cal Catalina deal or even an unadvertised deal that you find on like Living Rich with Coupons and you go to Kroger and you buy the correct items and your Catalina doesn't print, you are to contact the Catalina company. Make sure you keep your receipt and um, they will reimburse you. My email is Krista Ramsey 6 the number 6 at gmail.com. I also have Krista Coupon 6 at gmail, but I forget to check that one sometimes. Hmm, then I may as well stay with DG, CVS, and Walgreens. LOL, thank you. Yeah, I mean, sometimes things are really good there. If it's far away, unless you see somebody talking about a crazy overage deal, I probably would just leave Kroger alone, honestly, in my opinion. Heather, it's KristaRamsey6 at gmail.com. Can I use my cat from Rite Aid at Kroger since it's a manufacturer coupon? So technically, um, this is theoretically supposed to work, yes, but there's a huge chance that they won't take it. But uh, I actually had this conversation um, via email with someone recently who was asking me could they use their Catalina like that and it was like a Rite Aid and Kroger situation and it worked she ended up getting a cashier that would take it and it did in fact work but it took her a while um, I believe to find a cashier that would take it because she kept emailing me back asking me and it is a manufacturer coupon and I've always been told that they worked and it, it would take off the total even if you used it at Walmart a place that doesn't give Catalinas but I've personally, I've tried it myself and I never could find a cashier that would take it either because they're real weird in my area anyway. So, yeah. But yeah, I would try it. Vanessa says, I do, I asked her, did she coupon at Family Dollar a lot? But saving is so much better at Dollar General. They also have a 5 off 25, but you have to have 25 after all other coupons to use the 5 off 25 at Family Dollar. Love for you to do a video on when to end transaction and what to put together. I don't know what you're asking, Heather. I don't understand. Video on when to end transaction and what to put together. Last night, I, oh, that's what else I wanted to tell you guys about. Last night, okay, so you guys may have noticed um, that we got a $4 off to Playtex coupon. On that Dollar General Digital coupon, it said it excluded the 4 count, 8 count, 12 count, and 16 count. So I made a post in the Facebook group the other day, and I was like, did anybody notice that the uh, it didn't exclude the 14 count? Did anybody try it? And it was so funny because the other admin uh, of our Facebook group, other than Renee, her name is Kimberly, and she was like, um, we laughed at her because she was like, I'm pulling into Dollar General now and literally answered my question within five minutes. It was so funny. We were laughing about it in the comments. But anyway, so she said she had seen a receipt uh, in another Facebook couponing group, I think is where she got the receipt, where they had bought the 18 count Playtex tampons and that four dollar off dollar general digital coupon had come off for two um they're on sale for 325 this week so if you buy two that would be six dollars and fifty cents use that four off two digital coupon it would make them just 250 for two so i tried that last night at dollar general and it did not work it did not work so um i asked them to void the transaction and i was so upset when I left because I wish I would have recorded that and I didn't. I recorded it on my phone. Vanessa, I've done the 5 off 25 at this family dollar. Mine is before coupons. I have seen that people, I think sometimes it glitches though, right? Is that why sometimes it's before coupons and sometimes it's not? I honestly, um, originally subscribed to 
Becky Bodyford. Uh, I hope that's how you say her name. You guys know who I'm talking about. She shops at Dollar General. She has a YouTube channel. I subscribed to her channel because I seen that she'd done quite a bit of Family Dollar videos. And I was trying to kind of get the hang of it, I guess, which I could have just you can always just read the coupon policy, but sometimes that doesn't really tell you what you need to know. Um, but I don't think here recently she has been doing Family Dollar videos that I've seen anyway. Sandra, that's such a shame, but at least you got it. Uh, so how is the best way to use that four off too? Okay, so the reason I even mentioned that is because at Dollar General, since I've been couponing at Dollar General for a couple of years, literally only one time have I ever got Playtex from Dollar General, right? And I see a lot of people asking for like Finneman products still, uh, type deals. So it says it needs to be 36 count, and I went in Dollar General, and my store does not sell the 36 count of Playtex um, at my store. So if I was going to ask you guys if you knew how much they sold them for. I think I looked it up on dollargeneral.com, and it was about $6 a box. So if you had to buy two boxes at $6, I don't know that that's the end price store. Um, if you had to buy two boxes at $6, that would be $12 minus four so you'd still be paying like eight bucks for two boxes of tampons that's not a good deal um, but if you guys do go to Dollar General and your store sells the bigger boxes of Playtex please take a picture and email it to me I would really appreciate that oh you have to just ignore them sometimes when they're uh, not at school they come on here and like to make comments but you actually got to feel sorry for them because they have nothing else better to do right wow i must be so pretty that they come and set on my channel and look at me they help my uh views i was being sarcastic but it does help me nonetheless right even if they thumbs down the video it still helps me it still helps me Wonder how many people, oh yeah. It makes you wonder if like people just sit and do that all day, really. There's actually a um, tab in YouTube, and I didn't know this, but there's a tab that you can go to in YouTube that is um, live videos. Like you can just go see who's live right now and go to their videos, which is kind of neat if you like live videos, right? Um, YouTube should promote that more. It would probably help some but I guess they just sit there and see who's live and go to their videos what a sad life like if I I would probably just jump off a bridge if I had to live my life that way um but you definitely have to not give them attention because look he literally logged out of his account and into another account just to come back like that's how sad his life is so um, if you would like to be a part of our couponing family because you have such a sad life then you can do that but you got to be nice I keep reporting him yeah I do I, I think I there, it, what's interesting is I can't block him, so I must have either A, already blocked him, which if I did, I don't know how he would be able to comment, but some of them really just want you to say their name, and so um, I've learned if you get, like, if you don't give them any attention at all, like, me talking about him is feeding into him, so he'll probably come back, you know what I mean? So if you just ignore them, usually they go away. This diaper deal at uh, Rite Aid is insane, y'all. Um, somebody asked, just got here, what's the diaper deal? So these are in a really amazing deal at Rite Aid when you uh, spend $50 on Huggies and some other products. You get $20 in bonus cash. Plus, we have $2 coupons for Huggies. Plus, if you buy only two per transaction, then you get a $10 Catalina. So 
If you clip the load to card coupons on RiteAid.com, you can clip one Huggies coupon and one Pull-Ups coupon. You can go in RiteAid, do your first transaction, one Huggies, one Pull-Up. You would pay a, about $14-ish out of pocket, get back a $10 Catalina, and then just keep repeating that transaction and use uh, that $10 Catalina. When you hand it to the cashier, don't give them your Rite Aid card to scan or don't put your number in first. Hand over the $10 Catalina first, after they scan the diapers, of course, then the $10 Catalina, then your Huggies coupons, then scan your Rite Aid card. And you'll keep getting back a $10 Catalina. Once you spend $50, which is six packs of Huggies diapers, you'll get back $20 in bonus points. So per Rite Aid card, you can get a total of 12 diapers, which would be a total of six transactions of two. You have to buy them two diapers per transaction. Hope I didn't make that real confusing. I'm not real good at, honestly, just saying the deals. I think I'm better at presenting them on a slide or something, but um, if you haven't done this deal, it does end Saturday. Saturday will be the last day, so I would highly uh, recommend that you guys go do this deal as soon as possible. You, by Rena, you can also print coupons um, on coupons.com or pick up the values.com. And also, uh, they say people in the chat said that we got some coupons on in the Sunday newspaper. Did you get your Google Sheets working right? No. I don't know why it rounds it up and it drives me crazy. I've actually made a few scenarios and stuff where I've made mistakes. And um, people like would point them out in the comments and I didn't realize it. So I got to figure out how to turn that off. I know you can turn it off, but I don't know what it's called. Like I tried to search it, like Google search it, but I don't know what it's called to, I guess, search for the correct thing. You know what I mean? What's your email? I tried to email you yesterday and had typed it wrong. Let me, I'll put it in the chat for you. Formatting, I'll try that. Thank you. I'm going to put my email in the chat real quick, guys. Hey, guys, please give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. You know, you guys know what I did. I kind of made a mistake on, um, so how do we sell? I kind of, first let me tell you this. I kind of made a mistake here on YouTube. I was doing live videos, and, and we were doing really long live videos, and then I just stopped and stopped and made it only to where we do live videos on Monday and Tuesday. I did that for two weeks, and it killed my YouTube analytics. Killed them. So if you ever have a YouTube channel, don't do that. Lesson learned. I don't know why I told you guys that. This couponing video. But um, just so you know. Um... Is this correct? You can use, you can now use a Rite Aid digital and paper coupon together? No. They're both manufactured coupons. They won't work together. Have to make a lunch for the kids. Bye, Chris. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, Vanessa. Okay, so how to sell them. You can sell them on places like eBay. Um, a lot of the times the couponing stuff doesn't sell on eBay, eBay but diapers actually will. So does uh, Tide Pods and Gang Flings. Or uh, the easier, quicker option would be to go to your local yard sale groups on Facebook. If you're not a part of those yard sale groups on Facebook, you definitely should be. Sometimes they won't let you sell like stockpile items. If that's the case, create your own group. Share it in your group of friends and have them share the group and eventually you'll get people in that group, right? So if, if there happens to be no Facebook selling groups in your area or they won't allow you to sell your couponing items, create your own group and just keep sharing it and ask your friends to share it. Event, people love to buy stuff for a discount and they don't want a coupon. So if you do the work for them, they will really appreciate that. But when I used to sell my stockpile items for a living, like that's how I made a living for quite a while, months and months and months. I made about four to $600 a week 
the easiest, by far the easiest thing I could sell was Huggies diapers. And so these sell for about, in my area, I can sell them for $6 a pack all day long. Sometimes if I want to sell them quicker, like if I wanted to post these today and sell them today, I would sell them for $5 a pack, which is still a great deal. I'm still making tons of money that way, right? But you can sell them for 6 and they still sell really fast. <clears throat> That's up to you. You also want to check and see if other people in your area are selling them and how much they're selling them for because you don't want to be selling them for 6 if uh, Susie down the street is selling them for $3 a pack or something like that. Insane, right? Once you have sold diapers to someone, remember that person's name um, or keep them in your Facebook messages because then if you don't have babies in diapers and you don't need them, anytime you get diapers, remember to get their size and I'll just message them and say, hey, um, I have size five diapers and almost always they will just go ahead and buy from me. Yesterday I had these sold. As soon as I purchased them at Rite Aid, got in my car, messaged um, a lady that buys diapers from me, and she bought all six packs that I got yesterday. So very easy to sell is my point, you guys. This, um, and I was telling them earlier, something I used to do is I would keep these in my stockpile because since I made a living off selling my stockpile, I'd wait till we had a really crappy week and I needed money. Um, I would wait to save these and sell these then, right? Just make sure when you post too, I would put like no holds because a lot of the times people will ask you to hold them for ever until they come by them. So just no holds um, and stuff like that. <clears throat> How often do you have to shop to make four to $600 a week selling your stockpile? Um, I shopped every day almost, uh, I, but I do recommend not shopping every day, which is stupid that I just said that and said I shopped every day. I wish I would have been smarter about it. I probably could have made more money, but I would literally get, um, <clears throat> that's one reason why I don't buy newspaper coupons anymore either, but I would get about 10 to 20 sets of newspapers a week, and that is on the scale that I was shopping. Since I have a YouTube channel, I could never do that while I had a YouTube channel because it's just too time consuming, right? I shopped a lot, a lot. Isn't it illegal to resell? Um, there are multiple opinions about this. People have very strong opinions about it being illegal to resell. I don't know why people are so personally offended uh, when you sell your stockpiling items. I've actually sold to police officers in uniform. So if it was illegal, I'm sure I would be in jail. I personally think, I, so let, let, let's think of it this way, okay? Let's, let's consider <clears throat> that Nike sent you a coupon to your email and that coupon was ten dollars off your fifty dollar purchase on any nike shoes so you bought nike shoes off the nike website with a ten dollar coupon ten dollars off your fifty dollar purchase and nike mails you your shoes and you get them and i don't know they won't return them or something like that and you sell them do you think that's illegal do you think now you're stuck with the Nike shoes forever and now you cannot sell them, right? Once you buy something, it's yours. How can they stop you from selling? I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. And the fact that I've literally sold to a police officer in uniform. Um, and the funny thing is, too, right? I seen Tony. Somebody asked couponing with Tony the same question once. Long time ago when I first started watching YouTube, I think. I remember her saying she was having a stockpile sale and a police officer pulled up and she was like, oh, like hiding, like, oh no, I'm going to jail. And he was there. Uh, but I remember once we went on vacation, I was on vacation and I had some stuff posted for sale on the Facebook yard sites. And this is when I first started selling my stuff, right? And eventually part of the reason why I created my own group of people on Facebook to sell to, because people get upset and I don't know why they get upset, but she literally commented on my post. Um, I had bought, what was it? I don't know, like Tide laundry detergent or something at Kroger and I gotten it, uh, I think it was like 50 cents a bag of pods or something like that. And I resold them two for five dollars, which is two fifty a bag. And I, I I don't I guess I remember it because I was on vacation. I remember it so clearly. We because it was the first day of our vacation. But she commented on my post. 
I would understand I'm a couponer and I would understand you selling stuff for the price that you bought it for. But the fact that you're selling it, making a profit gives us all couponers a bad name, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, honey, I'm going to go chase down some coupons, buy them, cut them, go to the store, take my gas, and not even make a profit. Not even make 10 cent. So, just be prepared for that. Like, if you do sell in your area, not always. Like, I didn't get that all the time, but occasionally, people would come out with me with some crazy stuff. I mean, who would sell something for the price they bought it for? Again, if you went and bought Nike shoes online, and you got them... Um, would you sell them what you paid for them? No, you might even sell, I mean, if they're new, you might, I don't know, but it's none of her business. Like, what, why are you even commenting on my stuff? I, I don't know why people do that. It's really stupid. It's like her shifts, and she was a single mom. She had, like, four kids, and she didn't have time to shop. And since she started buying off of me, not only was she saving money, um, but she didn't have to go to the store. It was more like I was her personal shopper. She would tell me what she wanted, and I would go get it. So, you're really doing the world a favor is the way you got to look at it. It's no different than you selling a used cell phone, de designer purse, etc. I totally agree with you. Okay, tell her to sell her stuff how she wants, and you, can, you can't please everyone. And that's just the fact. I mean, I don't know why sometimes people want to give their silly opinions, whatever, I guess. But I just want you guys to be prepared of that if it happens to you, right? Because some people are very sensitive, and it, I mean, people are mean. Mean. Um, do we have any questions before we go? As long as I'm not stealing the stuff, we pay taxes on the stuff. And exactly, if it's your time and gas, like, I don't understand why people take it so personally. I don't. My best friend's husband is a detective, and I sell and give to them. Oh, you guys, we missed, we missed that comment in the live stream. Juan says, my best friend's husband is a detective, and I sell and give to them. Did you know it was a limit of 2 to 20 or I'm sorry. Did you know it was a limit of two $20 bonus points? I did help um, Kelly know that it was a limit of two but I do have multiple Rite Aid cards. I have three Rite Aid uh, accounts. And so after you hit the limit of a total of 12 diapers, you could just create another account if you wanted to get more Huggies diapers. I would strongly urge you guys to, especially if you have babies and you buy diapers on a regular basis, get as many of these as possible. Sign out of... Um, Pick up the values.com and create another account or whatever you got to do to get more coupons to buy more because we don't get moneymaker huggies often. Heather says it's because people are greedy and jealous and mean and they do not see that you get further helping each other than kicking each other down and stepping on one another to get ahead. And that is absolutely the truth. And that is 100% uh, one of the things that I've learned on YouTube, right? The only way, I mean, what makes this world great is when we do help each other. And even if you're just selling your couponing items, it's really not that big of a deal. But you, you guys don't know the people who literally, and that one lady, like literally, just who were so grateful. I mean, they basically have a personal shopper they don't have to take the time to learn how to coupon you're doing that for them you're saving them money you're saving them time gas I mean you know there's more time she got to spend with her kids and she didn't have to worry about shopping and all that stuff so yeah you're really helping the world try to do a survey yesterday and it didn't work for me for the first time, tried to do a survey yesterday, didn't work for the first time for me. I don't know why. Unless, I mean, if you're using a receipt that you got within the last seven days, it should work. Sandra says, what I don't get is why cashiers get mad at us for couponing. 
I think that again is a like goes back to what Heather said. I think sometimes it's a jealousy issue. I think sometimes when people like hate on you for something, it's usually an issue that they have with themselves, right? It usually has nothing to do with you. So I don't know. I don't get it either. Um, and back to your question, Vasquez, with the survey. Let me know. Did, oh, she said, always work before. Yes, walked out of the store and tried it. Nope, nothing. If you need um, uh, Va Vasquez, that's you, right? Because now I'm a little confused. You changed your name and I just forgot. Email me at KristaRamsey6 at gmail.com, please. Cashiers, hit maybe because you are interrupt them, interrupting them from texting. The cashier I had yesterday was so rude, but I was nice as I could be just to piss her off more. Yeah, it does make them mad too. It, it makes them really mad when you're nice. I love nothing more than when you get like a zero um, out of pocket too when they're being like an asshole and you have to pay absolutely nothing. I don't know why people are such. All right, guys, if you don't have any more questions, I guess we shall end the live stream. I got to go finish up my shop kick video. I wanted to try to get them up by three o'clock every Thursday, but I think I'm going to make my three o'clock later because, um, is it Thursday? Yeah. Uh, I want to make my three o'clock later because, um, I'm a procrastinator. A couple cashiers told me I just can't get stuff for free. They tell me that too, right? I can't let you walk out of here not paying anything. Once I even paid uh, for my gas with plenty points at the gas station, and they were like, I can't let you buy gas and not have to pay anything. And I was like, I did pay. I used my plenty points. What are you talking about? My cashier at DG asked if I did classes. I referred her to your channel. Aw, thank you. Guys, Um, if you are, once you do begin to be a pretty good couponer, we tried to have a coupon class in our area, um, and it was really unsuccessful. Like, everybody was like, oh my gosh, please do a coupon class. So I did with my friend Sharita that was in the chat earlier, and not, not one person showed up the first time we did it. So if you do do a coupon class, make sure you take payments ahead of the class. Because sometimes it just sounds good and people want to learn to coupon, but then kind of maybe they realize it's work and they don't want to do it or whatever. Um, I don't know a lot of people like personally. I guess it would probably help if I like was from here and knew a lot of people here. That would have helped me promote it better. Uh, but you saying that just reminded me of that. And I've never really talked about that, but it was terrible. No, Not one person showed up, and we rented a building, so we actually lost money. And, we, and it wasn't even... Um, we didn't even charge a lot to get in. We just charged enough to where we could pay for the building and make us 10 bucks a piece or something, and nobody showed up. It was sad. <laughs> It's funny though now, right? You are paying and paying eight cents more when you use coupons. You are paying. Okay, yeah. Lulu says you are paying and paying eight cents more when you use coupons. Yeah, the the store actually um or I'm sorry, the manufacturer actually pays a handling fee. So when you use a coupon, the store makes more money than if they were taking money from a customer because the manufacturer is reimbursing them for the item plus eight cents. Sometimes it's actually more than eight cents though. Sometimes um, it's like 17 cents. That's on two hours. Wow, this has been a long chat. Is it two hours? It's been an hour and 10 minutes, right? We did one once for two hours though. I got to get my watch time back up because when I make pre-recorded videos now, that's why I was telling you guys that earlier too. Um, we did a lot of live chats like every single day, right? And some of them were really long, like two hours. 
an hour and a half. So what happened, if you care to know, uh, what happened was YouTube, even though there would only be 50 people on the, on the chat, or sometimes it was more than that, right? But at least usually 50 people, um, YouTube really was just was like, oh my gosh, she's getting tons of watch time, right? The month I started doing live chats, I got 2,500 subscribers within 30 days, right? I got more subscribers that month than couponing with Tony, right? Who is like the uh, ultimate coup competition, which though she's really not, but you know what I mean? So anyway, I stopped doing all the live chats and all of a sudden my watch time crashed and burned and YouTube was like, oh, nobody must care about Krista anymore. So they don't promote my videos right now. So I have to get my watch time up or I'm going to crash and burn. This video is going to be so demonetized. Anytime you talk about Rite Aid, also, um, it demonetizes your YouTube video. I don't know why. I don't know how Michelle's frugal living, honestly, could even make AdSense money. Because if a Rite Aid is in the title of my video, automatically is demonetized. If I mention Rite Aid whatsoever, it's demonetized. Um, could I do a live chat class? Could you do a live chat class? I have in the past. I mean, we've, I mean, pretty much we have done like a couponing chat class, but you guys can ask me anything you want. I mean, that's why I do these live chats. So not only do I talk about what I want to talk about, obviously, um, it's based upon you, but I guess, I mean, we could do a coupon class. I thought at one point, I thought what I was going to do is um, do like a paid class, right? As a way to help me out too. And then just get like five to ten people every week. I didn't want it to be any bigger than that. So everybody could really actually learn and ask their individual questions I mean, if there was enough people interested in that, though, we could do like a video and just call it couponing class and kind of start from the very beginning. Yeah, we could do that. Well, I mean for you to charge for a profit to benefit you. Honestly, though, um, like I feel... I don't know. I'm on the fence about that. I feel like you guys can get that information for free. Like I'm even willing to give it to you for free. It just depends on how much one-on-one -on -one help that you want. Right. If you, but I might do that at some point. My AdSense is going to be really bad for January. So maybe I should do that to make up for that. Aw, thank you. I know you hate when we buy paper, still worth it, or walk around to people that don't want theirs, but not all coupons are in those. I don't hate when you guys buy papers. In fact, I mean, I think that if you, I mean, I think you should buy papers. I just think that I just want... I, I just want everybody to know, one, you can coupon without buying papers. Okay, because not everybody has the money to buy newspapers. And I see, I've seen it firsthand. I've seen where people start couponing and they start spending so much money, uh, not only couponing, but on newspapers that they're really not saving any money in the end. Right. At the end of the day, they didn't save a single penny. They end up spending more money than they would have if they didn't coupon because they get addicted to getting the deal or whatever. Um, so I just like to coupon too uh, with digital coupons and printable coupons. Honestly, because I'm not that organized of a person, I think it's easier. I think it's less work because then you don't have to worry about clipping all them uh, coupons and organizing them. I mean, I don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing. I used to coupon with newspaper coupons. I mean, I still do sometimes. I don't, I, I mean, I just like for you guys to know that there are other options. And then also I like for there to be deals that everybody can do, not just people that happen to get the newspaper that week because not everybody does. 
Pam said I did that. I did too. Chrissy, you should talk to your local newspaper company and see if you can have coupon classes there and write a blog in the paper and they would pay you. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I have a pretty good plan, though, as far as making money on YouTube. Um, I'm almost coming up on a year of being on YouTube, and I really just focused on, like, providing you guys uh, value and trying to grow my channel pretty fast. Looking at the other couponing channels, I'm going to hit about, I'm almost, I'm, I've been on YouTube for about 10 months since March. March makes a year that I've been on YouTube. I have almost 9,000 subscribers, which in the couponing niche is actually pretty good. Other people who have been on here a couple years, I've surpassed. So that's pretty good. So I focused on that for a year. And um, this year, that's why I'm going to sell those t-shirts because I'll make a little bit of profit from that, not a ton. Um, and I'm going to start using affiliate links and trying to get sponsors. All right, I gotta go too. Who's what? What happened to Kelly? I'm trying to make another Rite Aid account now because I have grandbabies. Do you also have to have a different phone number with each different email for a new account? Yes, but it doesn't have to be a legitimate phone number. If you want, you can get a uh, Google Voice telephone number to create a different account. Like, just download the Google Voice app, and they'll give you another phone number. But you can literally just make one up. Just don't forget that phone number. Well, you could just check it in your account, I guess, but don't forget the email to it, at least. Krista, a lady in my town does that, and she gets paid our local newspaper. You're better than her. I guess, I mean, I guess that's, well, thank you, first of all. I guess that's actually a good idea, though. I never thought of that as far as couponing. And I really never did. I'm not, uh, and I'm trying to start a blog, which I think I'll make money from that, too. Um, they say that you make better money from a blog than you do, like, a YouTube channel. Facebook uh, is also creating a similar um, thing as YouTube. It's called Facebook uh, shows and you're supposed to eventually make AdSense money but the only thing is sometimes you can't really rely on AdSense money but the blog I was hoping and then I could use more affiliate links but I, I appreciate that you guys care about my money that's very nice what are you thinking uh, what do you think on making money Selling by catalog. I don't know what you mean. What do you think on making money selling by catalog? Selling by catalog. Well, I don't know what you mean exactly. I can't figure it out. All right, guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Somebody said they were going couponing. Sandra. Have fun, Sandra. Um, just got here. What did I miss? Anita, I'm sorry, but we're ending the live stream. Her blog is in the Sunday paper every week. Go make some more money, girl. You got this. It's a good idea. I might think about that. I'm really not a good writer. That's where I was going with that. I, if you guys don't notice, I can't spell. I did, I graduated high school early, actually, with very good grades, and I took some college classes, but I cannot spell a lick. Like, literally, I, can, I can't spell. One day I wrote, I spelled believe wrong in the title of one of my YouTube videos, and nobody told me. If I ever spell something wrong, please let me know, which now they have apps that just will correct your spelling for you, so I guess, you know, I could just do that. I got into a company that sells makeup, perfumes, body lotions, and stuff like that and gives you up to 85% money profit. I think if you have, um, Patricia, is it, so it's like a, like an Avon type thing? Is that what you're saying? 
I think if you know a lot of people in your area, it, um, <clears throat> to start, I think that you could be very successful with that. But I think that's a lot of work. And I mean, anything's a lot of work to make money. There are tons of ways to make money, though. I, I think that you should give it a try as long as you don't have to pay anything up front. If you have to pay, Patricia, to do that, don't do it. If you have to pay, don't do it. Do you have to pay? You have the people here in your channel. Oh, I really think I'm, I'm, it's so sweet that you guys care so much about my money. <laughs> Actually, I do pretty good with what I do already. Um, I think there are ways to make more money quicker. The reason I'm always, I guess, concerned about making money on YouTube is just so I can spend more time um, working. Like when I go live and we just chat, that's one thing, right? But what, sometimes when I make like scenario videos or uh, stuff like that where there's slides and stuff, sometimes that takes a long time, like hours and hours and hours. Um, and as opposed, opposed to selling on eBay, because uh, I do make money from that, I also work from home, like have a regular work from home job. So sometimes I'm just looking for other ways to make money so I can spend more time here. Um, but I actually have some pretty good ideas uh, with as far as just even using affiliate links and sponsors in order to do that. But um, sometimes there are qualifications in order to do that, right? Um, but as far as selling on a catalog, I could, uh, but that's actually kind of what affiliate marketing is. And that's what I'm, I am looking to do uh, starting February. But I love that you are concerned about me. I appreciate that so much. You work hard for us for nothing, and that's how we can show you our appreciation by supporting whatever you do. And I really appreciate that. I actually am going to sell shirts next month to you guys. I won't make a huge profit, but hopefully uh, several of you will be interested in that. I'll make some money from there. I mean, I do make a little bit of AdSense money. I'm actually making a video about how you make money on YouTube because um, I do make a little bit of money. I make about half of my income already just from YouTube. About half of it. Save my email and I'll let you know if you want to know how to do it. Okay, I definitely will, Patricia. Um, what is it? A M W A. Oh, there it went. I gotta get those dogs in. They're driving me crazy out there barking. I'll save it. I saved it. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video. Please give the video a thumbs up before you leave. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any deals. And uh, today, later today, we're going to do that uh, Shopkick app review. If you don't have Shopkick, you definitely want to be on that video. Shopkick is an amazing app. Um, it's kind of uh, booting I bought it out of my number one favorite spot for apps. Pam's Pretty Pennies. I know this is your channel. This is your time. But if anyone is interested, I'm welcome to, to answer all your questions. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Aw. I need insurance. Have a great day. Thanks for all you do. Thank you guys for being here. I'll be back later with the shop kick video. Bye.